Calgary, six years after it all began, Felipe Massetti lead is still in the saddle and planning a new adventure. Late 31, who immigrated to Canada from Brazil when he was a teenager, began his original journey in July 2012 and spent two years riding his two horses through ten countries in North, Central and South America. Felipe Massetti Elite rides out of the Stampede Grounds in Calgary on July 8, 2012. Lead, who embarked on a two-year journey from Calgary to Sao Paulo, Brazil, is now planning on riding his horse from Alaska to Calgary next year. Bill Graveland, the Canadian press file photo, he eventually covered about 16,000 kilometers and reached his final destination at his home in Espirito Santo do Pinhill, Sao Paulo, in June 2014. Lead, who has a journalism degree from Ryerson University in Toronto, fell into a deep depression after reaching Brazil, I was riding home, or so I thought. Leet, who is in Calgary for the Stampede, told the Canadian press. When I arrived in Brazil 800 days later, I realized Brazil is not my home and Canada is in fact my home, article continued Bellau he began a second trip in 2016 that would span 7,350 kilometers in 15 months and take him from Brazil to Patagonia, I went on a second long ride to try and find myself. When I got there, I thought this isn't over yet. I need to do a last one, something's calling me. I need to ride this last 3,500 kilometers, read more, Canadian Cowboys 7,000 kilometer trek through South America comes to an end journey to the end of the world nears the frigid finish line. journey to the end of the world, Cowboy feels Patagonia's chill and gets a crushing call article continued Bellavis third and what he said should be his final journey on horseback is to begin in Anchorage, Alaska, next May, I'm going to finish by, Stampede 2020. The trip is going to take a year and three months. The inspiration for Leet's first journey was based on a similar quest in 1925 by the original long rider, Amy Acute Shifley, a Swiss school teacher who rode 16,000 kilometers alone from Buenos Aires to New York City and wrote about his experiences. A long rider is someone who has ridden more than 1,600 continuous kilometers on a single equestrian journey. It was my life's dream. When I was really young, my dad used to read me Amy Acute Chevelli's book. It's a beautiful tale. He wrote this fabulous book documenting his journey and I fell in love with it. Leet said, my father gave me the name Felipe because it means a friend of horses and this is the first story he told me. I spent my entire life thinking what it would be like to travel on horseback. Leet documented his travels and has written the book Long Ride Home, Guts and Guns and Grizzlies, 800 Days Through the Americas in a Saddle. He'll be promoting it during the stampede. He expects a different set of challenges on the road from Alaska, including the possibility of an early winter. I need to get to Canada that first winter and find a ranch to call home for a few months, wait for the snow to pass, and then continue again, if I can get through all those grizzly bears, hopefully I'll arrive in Calgary in July 2020.